Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more bonus episodes of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 2, The Story So Far. Well, they were supposed to go to the Omega System, but the Professor wanted them to defeat Dark Professor, someone who resembled the Professor but wasn't related in any way whatsoever and whose whereabouts the Professor still didn't know after all his years of research. Hello, Professor! As well as his giant robot, Dark Erde Kaiser, all of which the professor claimed wasn't for his own gain, but to save the entire universe from a fate worse than what it was facing even now. That is one hell of a sentence. Woo! Well, after all this, after all, it is an urgent request from the one and only professor. What do you think? Don't blame me if something goes wrong, though, like our imminent doom. But we will continue on. This time, I am a little bit more aware of, of what it is that I need to do. I actually need to go back to the Omega system through the UMN terminal. I thought they were going to allow me to do it just normally, but they don't. You have to go through the UMN uh, terminal to go to the Omega system, uh, and we will need to use our characters to start off. Let's launch! We are probably going to get our asses kicked if any of the ES size enemies show up, but luckily they don't. So we begin the, the rather long crawl through the dungeon with our characters. Luckily, since we don't have to get a lot of the items, it will go a little bit more quickly this time. The only way to unlock this is by beating the game. So luckily we did that. We need to head down here. Cosmos, if you could pick up the pace, that would be appreciated. We will use the elevator and go all the way down to the bottom. There will be a lot of stops on the way. Feel free to ignore them. Remember that when we went here before, there were definitely some things that it was pretty clear we should be able to interact with, but couldn't because we were in the assets. So now we do have the opportunity to get that done, and then we will deal with the robot stuff later. And hopefully I will be powerful enough. I haven't done any grinding off screen yet. That's coming, though. That is coming. And you'll know, because I'll probably take a, a couple week break from the game while I'm trying to get everybody up to par. But, for now, we have made it to the bottom of the Omega System elevator thing. And we are free to, thankfully, go through this open door. We spent some time opening that door, but it is open for us now. Now here's where things get a little weird, at least weird for me. Cosmos, of course, is freaking all-powerful in this game, uh, but if I remember right, she cannot destroy these at all. If this was a cutscene, she'd be able to, no problem, but just normally, no. But we can destroy these and find ourselves a treasure chest with decoder number 10 in it. Very nice. Now, I do believe that we do have the segment address. No, we don't have segment address door 10, do we? I think, uh, no. We don't have any doors available to us that we haven't already opened. So everything that we will get from this point forward will be post-game content. I think it would be nice if they gave you a decoder or a door or something like that without the other so that you knew that there was still something to be done. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe it would drive people nuts, but I think it would have been better if there was a door or a decoder that you got during the normal uh, gameplay that you couldn't unlock or you couldn't complete until after the game was over, just so it gave you that little sense. But there was more. And not that you screwed up everything. All right, so here we want to stop. We will head to the left here, find ourselves the very, very small save point. Sure, we'll get the heal, why not? And we can head left across this bridge that I definitely wanted to go down before. But they wouldn't let me because my feet were too fat. I couldn't, I couldn't bounce myself across the beam. Why they wouldn't let us out of the ES right there, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what kind of docking procedures the ES have. I just thank God that they're not as lengthy as previous docking 
years and years. But here we can find ourselves a biosphere. And we can head down this elevator here where we can find more parts of the dungeon that we have not been before. But still has the same enemies. Nothing we haven't seen before. Let's continue on. And down here, we can find ourselves. If it will load. Oh, it's my I thought it was like right there. No, it must be the next screen. It has been a while since I've been here to be with you. Oh, there's a whole little section here. And I do not really remember. To be honest with you. Hold on. Alright. Let's do it and actually get things done properly this time. What I want to do is I'm going to destroy this one here and this one here. Now, I did destroy both of the uh, blue kind of gray things that were in our way. Uh, not that it really matters all that much. What I want to do is to destroy those two and then head down the elevator here. Anything that requires me breaking things in certain orders, I, I typically don't like. But that's what makes it a puzzle in the first place, I guess. Alright, so once that is done, we want to destroy a single block down here. That completes the bridge. Now we can head up. This is where I made the mistake last time. I thought we still need to go to the other one. Start doing that one. Green block will reset everything should you screw things up like I did that first time. But I'll creatively cut it so maybe you don't even see it but what I do want to do is head over here and destroy both of these and that will clear the path how I want it to notice that I can destroy all of those from the right side well technically the left side but from a side that is available to me so those two destroyed I can use them again and head down and hopefully I will be able to find the right path this time. So what I want to do is head back up to this one and destroy one, two blocks and that levels that out so I do have a free reign to go to that first treasure chest way over there. So let's take the elevator up. And head over to it. Hopefully we can actually get it and I haven't screwed myself up. It doesn't look like I have, so hooray. I'm not totally incompetent at this. Totally. Just a little bit. But in here we can get skill upgrade D times 20. Now, am I close to, to max on any of these? I would be very upset if I am. No, I still got a ways to go with the skill upgrades. I think it, what was I thinking that I was maxed out on? Oh, just med kits, I guess. Uh, there was more that I was close to maxed out on. But skill upgrade Ds, I will take it. So, with that done, I believe... I think it's pretty clear what I want to do from here. I'm just making sure before I actually do it. So, hold on one second. Okay. Now, where was I? Sorry, people just keep on bothering me. Uh, we're good. We are good. So, let's head down. And we can destroy everything in our path in the first one. And then we will find our way to the next one. What used to people trying to message me during this, but I apologize for it. So what I want to do is destroy all of these. This is not really going to be necessary for really anything that we are doing. We have already gotten the thing on the far side. We are good to go. No point in destroying the ones over there. So I'm going to correctly. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, not that you get anything out of it, but it does clear the path yet again. Just destroy the one for now, though, because we do need to get across in order to get yet another treasure chest. Lots of treasure chests here. Not too easy to get. 
Except if you have the time and patience to figure out the puzzle, which honestly isn't too difficult, just kind of time consuming. And that's kind of why I'm, I'm hesitant on it. It's not because it's difficult or I haven't figured it out. It's because I don't want to screw it up like I did last time. 10 class upgrade C's in there though. That is actually useless for me, but whatever, I will take it. The way that I'm doing this, of course, the class upgrades aren't really useful for me at all. But should you want to unlock the higher class skills, then it would be useful for you. I'm doing them in order, which is, like I said from the beginning, probably the worst way to go through this game. But I have managed it nonetheless. We will see about it when we get to the super optional bosses at the end of the game, or optional super bosses. But for now, you know, I did a good job, I think. Made it through the end. Now we can clear that out, and we can clear our way to the last treasure chest, which should be worthwhile after all this work that we have done. It should be worthwhile. So head over here, grab ourselves another treasure chest with secret key number 25 in it. Let's take a look at what that does. Number 25. There it is. Level 4 Class B Skill Focus 2. So let's take a look at that. 4B. 4B Focus 2. Recover 15% EP with the stock command. That is something that is passive. You don't have to actually equip it. So that will be something that I will appreciate getting at some point. Retain full agility after casting it. That's not bad. Not bad at all, but we are done now in the Omega system. There's still a little bit more that we can do though, so let's go ahead and try to do this quickly. It has been a long time since we have been there, so I might as well uh, show it off a little bit. Actually, I don't think we ever showed it off. Now that I think about it. Even though it is available to us. All right, back in the UMN, what we need to do is head to the Submerged City. And I think this is something that I just skipped entirely, which kind of negates my point about the uh, segment address doors entirely, because there was something that we could have done, but I did not do. So from here, I want to head left, if memory serves me correctly, which it does. I'm pretty sure. It has been a long time since I've been in this new city. It shouldn't be far from where we started. I just kind of need to go through enemies. I believe this is the right way. I'm so questioning myself on damn near everything. But like I said, I do believe it is this way, the way that we are looking for. I should come across a fort in the road fairly quickly, if I'm going to correctly, and I want to head... Oh, well, I, I wanted to hop over there, but ESs do not hop. 